All right. Hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is the day before a big trip. So we are going to go through prepping the RV for our trip, which is going to happen tomorrow. And so I'm going to just take you through just, um, it's a brand new RV, so it's not, uh, it's not packed completely the way I want it, but I just want to show you kind of what I'm taking with us and how we have things set up and how we have things packed. And also, um, we've got to top off the propane, the water, the gas and things like that. So I'll take you along with this uh, as we do that as well. So I'm excited about our trip. We're we were originally going to head up to Seattle and hit Portland, which would have been beautiful. And I've never driven all the way up to Portland, let alone Seattle. But we've had just storm after storm hitting the West Coast all the way from Los Angeles, San Diego, all the way up to Seattle. And I just, since this is a new RV and it's still in its kind of shakedown period, I didn't want to take a chance and uh, you know get up there and then you know something happens and and I don't know this RV well enough. So instead, we're heading down south. So we're going to, I believe we're going to stop in Morro Bay, uh, which is where I used to live. I used to live in San Luis Obispo, but Morro Bay is right next door on the ocean. Really beautiful uh, little seaside town. And we're going to overnight there. And then we're going to get up uh, leisurely and then make our way from there all the way down to Palm Desert, where my friend lives. And we're going to visit him for lunch. And then we're going to head out from there and head our, uh, over to Arizona and finally make our way to Sedona. So that's what our trip is. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be uh, about a week. And um, yeah, it'll be a great test and a great shakedown for, for the RV. So why don't we get started on going through the RV and just making sure we've got everything and I'll show you how I've got things packed. Okay, so just looking at our levels, we have good battery, we're full on the battery. 71% fresh water. We may top that off. I'm not quite sure. 70, we're probably okay because we can fill up when we get down there. Gray, it's not even 50%, so I don't need to dump that. Um, black, 33, I don't need to dump that. But here's the big one. Been using a lot of the uh, propane in order to heat because it's been so cold here. So we are empty on propane, so we're going to fill that up. The other thing that we're going to be waiting for is our food delivery. I get all of our food delivered from HomeSafe, so you can see our refrigerator is empty at the moment, but soon it's going to be filled up. I'll show you uh, Home Chef and how we use Home Chef when we go traveling. As we look down here, this is the kitchen, the galley, and we just have our standard silverware here. Panoramic comes with this built-in tray, which I'm glad it they have it in here they've already measured the size and everything so i don't have to think about that this one has our cooking utensils now take a look these are my collapsible measuring cups i also have a glass one i don't know if i need that or not i have one spatula one pair of scissors one peeler one set of tongs, one knife, one can opener, and this came with the little portable steam oven I bought, one silicon oven mitt. And that is all that I have for kitchen prep utensils. I used to carry just everything under the sun, you know, flour sifter and garlic press and everything that you can imagine. What I found is it's just a lot more stuff to rattle around in here. And this is all the stuff I need. In fact, I don't know if I need this one, so I might get rid of that one. Moving on, as far as cooking, I put the heavier stuff down below, but I only have one pot. And these are by, I'll put the links if you want these. These are uh, Bialette. And I also use these at home. I like them because they're ceramic coated on the inside. I don't know if they're okay for induction. I gotta check, but they also have the glass lid so I can see what's going on. And I have one pan, 
over here. This is my glass pan that fits perfectly in the little electric steam oven that I have. I brought this extra one just in case we need it. It comes with the meal kits. You'll see when I when I get the meal kits from Home Chef, they come with everything you need, including the pans and, and all that stuff. Dishes, I get Corel dishware. Uh, <clears throat> I just think that they have some nice lightweight stuff and um, Corel's a little more durable, so it's lightweight, which is useful in the RV. You're not carrying around really heavy stuff, but also it's pretty, uh, you know, it's pretty durable. It's not really going to break. These are ceramics. So you got to be careful with these, but th this is that uh, Corel wear stuff. And then I have the Bodum water boiler. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm questioning whether or not we need to take that because we have the microwave and you don't kind of, you can kind of boil the water in the microwave. So we'll see if, if I'm going to keep that or not. You're going to see guys, I, I got come a long way. I used to pack every little nook and cranny and I don't pack it anymore. This drawer is almost empty. I just have some uh, aluminum foil and ceram wrap and uh, just my sponge and stuff cleaning. So it's pretty empty here. And even above here in the galley, there's not a lot. Um, this is just the dish drying rack stuff. I showed that. I have a video showing um, making breakfast and cleaning up. And then I have, I gotta do something with these salt and pepper shakers. Maybe my sister. My sister has a great YouTube channel called Theory of Simple. Go check it out. And she talks about, she's just an expert on packing, uh, packing for trips. She's gonna help me reorganize the RV so things like this don't fall and rattle around. I did buy this. This is for spices, it's magnetic. So you can see these things don't fall off here. So maybe something like that for the salt and pepper. I'm not quite sure. That's it for inside there. Really nothing up in here except uh, grocery bags and the front window covers. So nothing much up in here. This one's pretty empty too. Just have our Bose Bluetooth speaker. This is great, it's rechargeable. Take it outside, it's waterproof. Uh, we have it hooked up in here for when we watch movies. And then this is just for ambiance. I mean, look at that, this is kind of cool. Oops, it's out. Anyways, I have to recharge it. That's a little candle. And you know, you always have to have a pack of playing cards, so. This one's, I think, empty, this cabinet. Yes, indeed, just uh, my gimbal and then these manuals will go away once uh, once I'm done reading through them. We have our shoe cubby down below here. And one row for each one of us. I will put the link for these really cool. Um, these are just dishwasher mats, they're silicon, but they work exceptionally well as shoe mats because you can just pull them out they're kind of deep here so any dirt and gritty grime kind of gets caught down in there gets off the shoe then you can just spray that off outside there's some more storage under the seat it's empty i don't put anything there moving back here this is the wardrobe closet we always have a set of our jackets in here our already ready to go so we never have to bring our jackets and then down below here is where I store our little steamer oven and then our Nespresso coffee maker. Look, like they fit in perfectly like that's just couldn't ask for anything more than that. This is our cleaning supply drawer. Perfect size for things like bottles, cleaning bottles, disposable gloves when you dump the tanks. We have a, look at this, I love this. This is a little perfect size duster, uh, broom, and dustpan. Um, I used to carry bigger ones. L look at the size of this floor. It's not that big. And so you can sweep this whole floor with this in about two minutes, maybe a minute. It's very convenient. Also used to have a vacuum, but uh, also don't want to carry a vacuum in here. And put some extra rolls of toilet paper down there, dish soap. So it's good and deep, extra supplies, sponges and stuff all stored inside of here. Back here, this is the built-in wine rack that comes with the panoramic. Of course, they have a wine rack from a 
Canadian French company, um, but I use it for our bottled water. So we like glass bottled water instead of the plastic. So we just, it's perfect for putting it in there. Extra rolls of toilet paper for the bathroom are stored in here. Perfect again. A couple extra rolls right around the corner from the bathroom. Easy to get to. Speaking of the bathroom, not a lot in here. Again, just our grab and go toothbrush, dental floss, toothpaste. So when we go to the gym, we, we're members of Anytime Fitness, which are all around the country. And when we go work out and then we use their showers. And so we just throw this in our backpacks and then go go work out and get cleaned up there. Up here, therefore, pretty empty. Uh, we just have a couple extra hand towels and then hand soap up here. I think it's always a good sign when uh, this is RVers don't pack full our, uh, our RVs. They drive a little bit better too. This is a pantry. We always keep this well stocked. Uh, this is all non-perishable stuff. Teas on the top, popcorn crackers, snacks and things, uh, soups, miso soups, things like that. And then down below the heavy stuff like uh, oil and rice and stuff like that. Moving on to the bedroom area. Each person has a side. So this is my side and this is my partner. Jillio's side and I'll just show you how I've got mine organized. So we always keep our clothes, a change of all of our clothes that we need for traveling are here so we never have to pack clothes. So we just uh, kind of minimal in terms of what we've got in here. I do carry, this is the, my backpack that I take to the gym and so inside of here will be let me just get this open so you can see. Okay, so inside of here, I've got my gym clothes. I've got, these are great. These are waterproof. I have uh, soap bars, but also I use a bar soap for shampoo. And these have a little, tiny little sponge at the bottom that will absorb any little water. So it keeps the bar from getting all slimy and gross. I think they look like little bento boxes. They're kind of cool. They got this rubber here which keeps the lid on also if you want i'll put a link for those i got those on amazon and then for towels when we go into the gym these are just kind of yoga towels but they're so perfect they dry you off well they're kind of like human chamois and uh, then they dry off really quickly so i've got that uh, then there's kind of a face cloth and then there's a washcloth here and that's all in the backpack so when we show up to the gym we can just grab our backpacks uh, go do our workout and then take a shower. Everything's right there. Down below, not a lot down here in the garage. And I've talked about this before when I gave you the tour, but uh, I don't, these are just the outside chairs. I don't think I need those in the winter right now. I may not even need them at all. We'll see. Uh, that's my YouTube bag. And then we just have the Thule ladder and Thule levels over there. But I think I'm going to clear this out a lot because again, I don't, I'm not going to use probably the ladder and I'm not, I'm not going to use the Thule leveler and I'm up in the air about whether or not I'm even going to use the chairs or not, but we'll see. I've got them in there for now. Let's go swing around to the back so we can take a look at, there's a couple more storage areas back there for uh, some stuff you need for the outside. Let's take a look at that. Okay. Take a look at what we've got going on in the back. Not a lot going on in the back here. So we've got two drawers here. And I have not organized these yet. So theory of simple is going to help me. This, look, more toilet paper. I didn't know that, I forgot that when you buy the RV that Panoramic gives you some toilet paper. So I went out and bought more toilet paper. So here's all the toilet paper. And then... This is some of the sewer connector stuff, like the elbow um, adapter and then the head adapter here, which at the, goes on the end and can go then into the ground where you dump. And I always rinse those out really well, flush them out so they're all clean. Generally, they're pretty clean if you flush the, the black tank first and the, the gray tank second, but I still use water and, not, and then I put them inside a plastic bag just so they're just a little more sanitary. And then down here, 
this is where our electrical hookups are, which I will never use ever. I just don't ever use electrical. I don't ever hook up when I'm at campgrounds. So, I mean, I'll keep it in here, but don't use it. And then our water fill. So um, I've seen other YouTube channels. Keep in mind, folks, this is a special hose. Don't use a garden hose when you fill up your water tank. It's got chemicals in it. This is specially designed to not have chemicals that are deposited in your water tank. So always use a special hose designed for RV drinking water. So keep that here. And it's got a pressure gauge on the end. Always a good idea. Just your RV may come with one. If not, you can get these for just not too expensive on YouTube, on uh, Amazon. It just ensures that if you go someplace that has higher water pressure than the RV can take, that when you hook this up to fill up your tank, it doesn't blow out any of your plumbing lines inside the RV. So it'll regulate the water pressure. Just a good thing to, good thing to have. And that's about it. There's nothing else. This is just the freshwater tank. So there's nothing over here. And, uh, and that's it. That's how I pack. That's what we've got. Once the food comes in, we will load up the refrigerator and then we'll be ready. Oh, there it is. It just got dropped off. That's the Home Chef delivery. So I better go get it and unpack it and put it in that there RV. All right, here we go. There's our food for the week for our RV trip. Let's go take it in the RV and get it unpacked. Okay, here's our meals from Home Chef. Let's see what we got in here. So these always come really well packed with um, lots of insulation and ice packs and things like this. So we've got, oh, Here's two, treat two friends to the gift of delicious meals, $35. So another two that I've got. So the first two people that ask for it in the comments, reach out to me and you'll get free $35 little trial meal packs. They always give you a little something extra special offers and stuff inside. I never use them. And then these are all of our meals. So... They give you, like this one's the fried chicken tenders. And then they give you instructions. Don't worry, if you lose these, it's no big deal. You can just go onto their website or from the app. You can also get all the instructions and everything. All right, there's... One of our sausage, bacon, cheese, breakfast frittata. This is one of our desserts. Can you guys see that okay? This is a skillet cookie. And this is one of our chopped salads. This is one of our soups. And then the meals themselves come in these, see these little self-contained bags. And um, these bags have everything in them from the vegetables and, and all the spices that you might need and everything like that. And then the meats come in a separate package. So I'm gonna start loading up the refrigerator with these. Of meals here. And see they just go right in. See I just take them right right out of the box and then just they just slide right in the refrigerator. It's really simple. And then 
all the meats and stuff all come in a separate sealed bag here. So those will all just go in here. So I'm putting about a a week's worth of meals in here, as you can see. And I'm gonna show you. Let me just get this box out of the way. We put our soup in here. It's all nicely sealed, so it's not gonna go anywhere. But there's even a bin in here, so you know, if it does spill, it's it's not gonna get all over the place in here. I'll put the rest of these in here. I just want to show you how much room there is in this refrigerator. Come here, take a look. So, actually, I'm going to turn it on. There we go. But so, there we go. I got everything in there. The, the This is empty, so I haven't put anything in the freezer yet, but look at that. All of our meals, this is empty, just go all inside here. And the meats are down there. There we have it. Close it up. And now we got our, our meals for the, for the week. Okay, I've got the refrigerator loaded and all we need to do now, everything else is ready to go. I just need to fill up the LP propane tank, top off the water, and then top off the gas tank, and we're ready to hit the road. So let's do it. Okay, guys, finally got the last bits of just little miscellaneous things packed in the RV, and now it's time to go and fill up the propane tank. And at the same time, we're going to just top off the gas, and then I'll make a decision about the water when I'm there. We have pretty good water, so I'm not sure if I'm going to fill up the water or not, and then it's time to hit the road. So let's go get that propane tank filled up. Okay, so the nice people here at Stars Gas Station here in Moraga are gonna come and fill up. It's a little pricey, it's $4.99 a gallon, but eh, you know, not too bad. Um, yeah, so we'll get that filled up and then uh, go back there and top off the gas. I don't know, maybe if they have water here, I might just top off the water too, we'll see. So we're down to 15%. And we'll see what it's uh, how much it's going to be to to fill it up to uh, well eighty percent I think is what they filled it up to. All right, the first time we're getting it hooked up, so it's the first time we're filling it. What the first time? It's the first time, yeah. Wow. Do you mind? I'm just videoing this. I hope you don't mind. Okay. So you're you're the you're the first. You're breaking her in. <laughs> oh my God! This nice bag. All right. So this is tight and nice. Right. 
Here we go. Let's see. That's good. Let's go ahead and fill it up. It's a small tank. I think it's only like, I don't know how many gallons. But I'm not sure how many gallons. Here we go. quite know what's going on but we only put uh, two and a half gallons in and it says it's at 94 percent inside so okay so uh, we're all filled up we're ready to go the propane's filled up i guess the guy that uh, filled the propane up is new and uh, didn't open the bleeder valve when he was filling up and so now we may be overfilled <laughs> I'm not quite sure because it, the, now the gauge says 116%, which I've never seen happen before. So um, I think it's probably safe. But um, uh, anyways, um, wasn't too bad. It was only 13 bucks to put 2.4 gallons in. So we're good to go. All right. Looks like she's running fine. Got the heater on inside the van. We see some steam definitely coming out. I'm just trying to uh, bleed off some of the extra propane that the guy at the filling station uh, put into the tank. I don't know if the tanks are overfilled. They're not supposed to be filled past 80%, but uh, the reading inside says it's at 116%. So I'm just going to run the heater a little bit to try to bring the pressure down a little bit in the tank. Okay, well, that's it. We finally got the RV ready to go. We got the refrigerator stocked. We got the liquid propane put in. We are gassed up and now we're ready for our big trip tomorrow. So I'm very excited and I look forward to sharing with you how our very first trip in the RV goes. I want to can't wait to bring you along with us. So thanks so much for joining me. If you've got any questions, Leave them in the comment section below. The good ones will get YouTube shorts made and I'll answer your question in a, in a little video. But um, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all the support and understanding. I've been reading in the comments from you. Thank you so much. You just mean the world to me. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.